Welcome back to our Global ITX Solution Gits Playwright Channel on Lecture 3. Before we start this lecture, I highly encourage you to come to a previous lecture related to this course. Let's get started and jump on the topics. Today we'll be validating the validating or asserting the response body. From the request that we have, we send it to the server server, server response with the JSON uh, objects. So let's go ahead and see how to do that so this is the previous lecture as you as you see there there were two test cases we validate we assert part of the response body right so this is a part of the response body if you go to the postman you see it over here so this is a like is a, is a single piece of the entire body right uh, so i want to validate entire response from here so let's say if I copy that response and I create a folder, let's say response, response body, then inside the response body, let's create a get user list dot JSON and inside it paste the JSON, enter JSON, save it, then we'll call that response body on the top of our test cases how do we do that do that by import um, import user list json json response body from so we have response body then this is our we just inherit that file and we are trying to validate this over here how do we do that so we can do that by by typing expect so basically same thing like expect here expect and this is going to be a only response response then dot two will be using contain json to contain json so on that to contain json we'll be using our the variable which is we call it this one right so how do we do that so there is a another assertion library we have to install that is called this is called order order tape. so this order tape basically are um, assertion library to have status code to have status text to be created to be unauthorized forbidden not found so all the status code um, you can see to match json to contain json right so uh, to have json so we can uh, validate to contain text Right, to have location to be redirect so we can use this by installing this one into our framework so let's go ahead and install and once we install that we can just use inside the config file so this is our config playwright config.ts we can copy and paste right so extend expect with the custom api matcher so this is a custom api basically so this is in typescript this is in javascript right we can just copy and go ahead and paste it inside the config file so let's see let's do this here so this is our config file we paste them here and our customs expect extend measures now let's go back inside our test case now to contain json it's matches right now let's go back to the website again one more time let's see yep to have status code we can use this um, to have status text not found which is we are using it already so let's let's go ahead and run our test so that's mean we are entirely um, enter JSON response from the postman. Enter response we are validating, right? So if we 
validate enter response that's mean we don't need this is a part of it part of the response value let's see it is running or not npm run test two test is running so one is failed let's see which one is failing so yeah you can see also in the in the report itself it says expect response to contain json is a list json response body so this is failing it says the data it's also giving you what is the differences you are getting okay so if you go all the way and uh, this is, should be fine to contain json let's see it is matching matching or not right now if you go here um, inside the website itself to contain json on the top of the list contain json so this is the match json this is a contain json expect contain json right so let's go ahead and use this here so they are using with the expect basically expect response to contain json so we can use json which is a declared so this is the async uh, we should be using the await before the expect still failing now let's go ahead and see why it's that failure to contain json it's not working right and on that it says the data data expect receive that so this is let's go back on the postman and copy that again copy it and let's go ahead and paste it again so this is the page two response body inside it let's do this again one more time save it and run it and we'll be working a single test case for now let's remove the other one from here let's see so it's still failing okay if that is still failing we can find out why it's failing right this is the first test case and let's remove this one because we are validating entire validation which is the response body to contain JSON. So it is failing again. Let's see some other examples, right? And for the JSON, we can use here. So we use to equal, we can use to contain directly. Let's see, we can use to contain this one number that to contain from the playwright directly okay let's see npm run test to contain response we're getting the same hmm, we're getting the same just to contain containing a lot to contain okay they're almost all the same Value, no, it's not saying. Uh, so it's it's coming with the header also. Received object, including header. Expected value only the data. So this is the difference. Okay. Now if I use here to contain instead of to contain, use to equal. To contain, we'll be using the expect object contain. Let's see. Um, here. Okay. Instead of using this, base 2, we can use this. Let's remove it. And let's do this. Let's do this. 
good see because this is the JSON file but this is not the object this is might not be working yeah it's not going to be working because that is not an object that is a JSON file right and this is starting from the data so uh, let's do not mess around with this so let's let's see if this is working out. let's make sure early value debug it okay so this is working right now if our if i go back here and let's see and uh, let me go back and let's move it everything and paste it again so this is our previous code it should be working to contain JSON. So response expect response to contain JSON. It should be working because this is our JSON file, right? Yep. Yeah. This is our JSON file. Let's run it again. Okay, it's failing. It is failing, and it's not containing match JSON. About this match JSON. Hmm. Body matches. The match JSON match up to the the response body JSON matches subset of the properties. Array containing that. I do a specific structure containing JSON to have JSON. This is basically the JSON, right? To have JSON, let's see this one to match JSON. Hmm. So that's been because we are adding, as you see, we are adding the exact json that's when it's not containing it's not have so it is matching exact json right so that then in that case we can use to match json and if we if we are using a piece of the piece of the object piece of the object from the json body in that case we can use stuff like that you can use from this let's say we are using it now to contain so we can use to contain here sorry we can use to contain like this uh, like we have here to have json to contain json so this one right so we can use to contain json basically this so this is the containing inside the JSON, right? Avoid expect response to contain JSON. So in that case, we can use this. So let's run it again. There should be an open running problem. Uh, so contain JSON or to have JSON. We can use the to have JSON in that case also. But um, our main part is if we already validate the entire JSON, so in that case, we don't need this, right? We don't need this like the part of it, the JSON body. So this is exactly what we are looking for. Okay, the, all the test cases are passed. Actual JSON body. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. Stay tuned for upcoming lecture for the rest of the course.